Hi, so welcome to a special episode of Our Road to Camelot. Everyone's been asking about seeing our rig. And, <laughs> and it's finally clean. It's finally, well, it's not that it's clean. It's well, just it we've had so much rain and so much going on and then trying to figure out where we're putting everything. So we finally figured it out. It's a beautiful, sunshiny day here in South Dakota. And even Akka's saying how gorgeous it is. And so we're going to show you, finally, our fifth our, wheel. Our fifth wheel, so Camelot. This is, this is the Cougar Keystone 310 RLS. And here we go. Welcome to Camelot. So we're going to start on the back side, and on this side we have a pass-through storage and wet bay. And uh, our storage is starting to look a little bit better, uh, but on the wet bay we've got uh, gray and black tank pulls here. Uh, our freshwater inputs, we have a black water uh, flush. We are pre-wired for solar, which is very cool. Pre-wired uh, pre where we can actually hook up to a satellite. Um, or cable, satellite prepper cable, and um, what else is in here? Uh, for when we decide we need to uh, winterize, which we're probably not going to be doing because we're living in it full time, but you can do that from here as well. The electrical is a 50 amp service, uh, so that actually plugs into the back, uh, but uh, all in all everything is nice and easy right here, except for the galley tank which is underneath. Fresh water Run uh, is an 81 gallon freshwater tank. So for boondocking, it gives you plenty of water. Uh, gray tank combined is 76 gallons. The best I can figure, because I can't find any information on it, is that it is two 38 gallon tanks. So you got 38 gallon of uh, gray from the shower and bathroom, and then 38 ga gallons of galley water. And then you have a 38 gallon black tank. So um, plenty of holding, we generally could last a week if you kind of balance uh, and don't do too many dishes and don't take too many long showers. So um, there are automatic levelers. So there's an automatic leveling system that allows us to uh, just push button auto level. We don't really have to get out and build up one side or the other, the jacks will automatically level the rig themselves. So very, very cool system with the auto levelers. Close that one down. We actually have two 30 gallon propane tanks. Um, so we've got plenty of propane. Uh, we actually, we have one empty at the moment. We'll be filling that up. But we have two tanks. Uh, so when one runs out, it'll automatically switch over to the second tank. We, when we come into the front bay, this is a utility bay. And in the utility bay, we have some junk in here at the moment. We have the spare tire, our battery, which I'll be fitting it for a second battery here real soon. Uh, so we have some extra junk that we kind of stuck away. Uh, the spare tire eventually we're going to be mounting underneath the rig and possibly setting up a generator under here as well. Um, when that happens, we'll show you the DYI on that one and how that all happens. Uh, but it definitely is uh, set up to be able to run a generator from up front as well. We have docking lights. So uh, when we're setting up and uh, we're plugged in, we can actually have the lights so we see what we're doing. It also has lights on the front. Uh, that um, are more for show, but still. So up front, up front we do have our second propane tank. Um, we also have that. We also have the other side of the path pass through storage, uh, which is pretty full at the moment, but uh, plenty of space uh, to store pretty much everything in the basement. Goes all the way back. Goes all the way back. It's also wired. It's also wired where we could pull the TV out of the bedroom uh, on its actual swing arm, put the swing arm here, plug the TV in, connect it to the cable, 
and we can have TV out here uh, just by pulling the TV from the bedroom. But look at this. Who wants to have TV out here? Exactly. We have not done this. this yet for good reason. <laughs> Oops. Oops. We have electrical. There's also uh, electrical outlets. I have used this. Um, when I get uh, too claustrophobic doing work inside, I'll come out here and set up an outside. So this is and my this. this is my office. We have exterior speakers that are connected directly to the stereo inside, where we could pipe the music outside if we choose to. Yeah, and and as you probably noticed, we went around, we do have three slides, um, opposing slides in the living area, which you'll see how much space that gives, as well as the bedroom slide for the bed. So on the back, it comes with the uh, luggage slash bike rack. Um, it actually will fold up out of the way when you're not using it. Um, and uh, this basically uh, has been awesome in carrying the bicycles. Ladder. And, uh, ladder to the roof. The roof will hold a lot of weight. It held me. I actually manned up and got on the roof the other day. So uh, I, you can actually uh, get on the roof and there's plenty of uh, uh, definitely strong enough to hold. And our 50 watt plug-in is right here in the back. 50 watt service. Plugs right in the back. Right. So outside we do have, uh, this is the rug we got at Northwood. So um, it's actually not really a rug so much as a really cool kind of plastic material that looks like a rug. So it's easy to clean, easy to store. Uh, camp chairs, we've got extra camp chairs hidden away. Um, and uh, the little side table where we kind of keep odds and ends. And the dog go-go uh, stick. Not sure what a go-go stick is. Go on Amazon and look up Go Go Stick, and then we'll know exactly what that's for. <laughs> okay. And we have our flags. Sure. <clears throat> and right now the flags are holding the rug down because I forgot where I put the stakes. I saw them somewhere. I know they're close by. Okay. All right. All so. right. So. And now we're gonna take it inside with Dawn. <laughs> okay. So now Steve showed you the outside, and I get to show you the inside. Kind of my little pride and joy in here. So come on in, and as we say in Ireland, a thousand welcomes. Of course, I'm more southern route, so it's y'all come in. This is our living room, living area. Um, it's awesome. We have a dinette set here, and to expand it, we have this little area here, and it snaps up underneath. So when we're not using, as you can see, it doesn't have a lot of space to walk especially with the dogs, so we leave it down when we're not eating with that. Over here is our kitchen area, our refrigerator. It's really great. We have a double refrigerator, which is awesome. So we have two sides here. It doesn't hold a lot, but you know what? It holds enough for us right now, and it's been really, really great. And then we also have the freezer, which is really, really cool, too. Has a lot in here. Otter pops. <laughs> Steve and his otter pops. Okay. Over here I have my uh, stove and and oven. And it's really cool. Right here, this is actually a full size residential um, microwave. It's not a, a, a small microwave or a, a so it, it actually has quite a bit of room in here. So so I can do quite a bit in there. Uh, I have a three burner stove, which is really neat. Let me pull this up so you can see this. If I do that, it leaves the, the mark on there. But on that. So a three burner stove, it's easy to clean. This just pops right out, and I can clean that and stuff. And I have an oven. It's not a very large oven, but it works really, really well. We made biscuits the other night, and I had to do it in two sessions because <laughs> my the biscuit pan didn't fit all the way. Up in here, I, I just went ahead and put some of my spices and things up in here on both of these. I have a little thing for salt, or sugar rather, and then I have my my spices up in here. And it fits actually quite well. And my little, my, my Irish mug, so that I bought in, where was that? We bought that in... Frankenmuth. 
No, not no. Franken mud. Anyway, I have it covered up here for some storage. So I keep a lot of my, like, um, you know, storage storage things work up great up in here. So that's it. Okay. My pantry. All right, let me tell you about the pantry. The pantry is large. It's really quite large. Um, we had a boo-boo, so I learned how to fix this, though, because that really upset me, and I'll show you how that happened in a minute. But my pantry is really large, and what Steve's going to do is he's going to build some shelves for me so that we have some extra room up in here and have two levels on this side because my bread's getting crushed and some other things. I have pots and pans down here with our lids. I have my Instapot down here, which actually I haven't used yet. I need to get to that. And then on the other side over here, you can see I have our plates and things and um, more of that. So we're going to put like a second level so we have two levels in there, which is going to be really, really helpful. How this happened was the pots and pans swung around. It wasn't uh, in here right, and it was a short trip, and it swung around, and one of the handles hit that. And that's what happened. So right now what I do is I take an old towel and I put that over, over that until we can get that fixed. So we have a lot of awesome lights in here. And because it's daytime, you're not really going to see it. But we have these lights over here that light up and are kind of a mood light during the day. And then we have lights above if we just want that. We have lights above the seating areas and on the ce ceiling. And believe it or not, I have lights underneath here. I don't know if you can see, which is really kind of kind of neat. It's kind of a, a neat little mood light thing. One other thing on the on the, that's really cool, because you're always wondering where am I going to put things and storage. So one of the cool things that we have right here on our chairs is we have some storage underneath. It's not a lot. It fits a few things but it works really, really well. When we strap the chairs down, we put one on top of the other when we're traveling, and the chairs are strapped down. So what I've done is so that we're not tripping over the, the straps or they're in the way of the chairs or anything, I take those off because they're on little clips and I can put them inside there. So they're out of the way. This is really cool. These are our theater seating. This is our theater seating. We get to watch TV from here. In here, we've got all kinds of goodies. We have our fire stick remote. We have the TV remote. We have, what's App this one? Apple. Oh, Apple. That's right. This is our Apple remote. <laughs> got to have Wi-Fi for fire stick and Apple, unfortunately. And then we have, this one goes to our uh, incredible entertainment system, our, our radio and uh, and all that. I'll show you that in a minute. And then we have this one. Check it out, people. Watch this. Okay, Steve? You ready? Here we go. And it's not doing it. There we go. We have a little fireplace. Isn't that awesome? And yes, it actually does give off heat. You can have it with the heat or without. There's a dimmer on it and all kinds of things. So we can, there's a timer on it, so if we decide we want to go to bed but leave it on, you know, the heat going for a little bit, we can do that. And it'll automatically shut off. So that is our little remote thing here. These are really neat because they pull up. There's a little handle here, which with my nails is not easy, but there's a little handle here, and hello people. So we get to sit here and relax and watch TV. That is in, unless the, one of the Huskies decides that they want a chair which they have done several times. So, we have this couch, which is a, uh, I'm not going to go through it, we won't open but it, it is a um, sleeper bed. Trifold. Trifold, and it's really easy. We just pull off this, pull off the bottom, pull it up, and da -da, we've got another bed for anybody who is... And extra storage under there, too. Extra storage, yes, we do. We have our printer under there, actually. So, it actually works out pretty good. And um, Sierra has actually adopted that as hers. Now, I was talking earlier about our entertainment center, which is really kind of cool. We have um, the Furion, and it's a radio and everything. The cool thing about this is, I'm going to have Steve explain it to you, because he's the one that's the technology person on this. So I'm going to tell you about our TV and show you a little bit about this before he kind of explains everything that goes on around in this thing. So this is, I believe, a 42-inch high def. See, it's bigger, 49 um, inch. 49 inch? Anyway, it's a big one, okay. 
And um, this is the cool thing. Check this out. I'm going to go back here and pull this out. And if Steve can get that back there. Go ahead. Storage. Lots of storage. Lots of storage. Hiding behind the TV. Hiding behind the TV. And then, of course, we have, I have some extra storage up here. It's amazing what you can find to put things, places to put things. So I have a lot of my bakeware and stuff up here. The entertainment system, the Furion entertainment system. We are able to run um, not only uh, CDs, high-def DVDs to the TV. Uh, we have auxiliary inputs to it. We can plug a USB into this and be able to watch or listen to music. Um, we actually set up our Amazon Alexa dot and this morning I actually went in and wired it in to play off of the stereo as well. So the music that comes off the Amazon is playing through the stereo as well. Uh, so this actually is all-encompassing um, sound system. Plus there's a uh, button here for zones. Zone 1 is inside. Zone 2, as we saw the speakers outside, will port the music outside as well. But you could also run Bluetooth, so I can connect my Bluetooth off my uh, phone to this and play my music from the phone through the stereo as well. So a lot of uh, high-end uh, technology coming out of that stereo alone. And back to Dawn. Okay, we've got storage on both oh, sides over time. here of our cabinet. So we kind of keep um, some of the, like Steve has some of his computer things and, and all that down in here. So, and it goes way back, so it's a lot of a lot of deep storage. I have to say the storage here is quite deep. This is kind of neat. I found this little vacuum. It's um, a Bissell, it was about $100. And it works great, and it has a handle that comes up. And it's trying to be, okay, once again, where am I storing this? Okay, so the fact that the handle does come down, it is, um, I can power it or it is cordless and it actually fits in this little corner right here quite well. In my cabinet here, I have some of my storage up, but I have some of my books also. It's really kind of neat because we do have some things that we got to bring with us. This has been really awesome. Um, Christina, our, our future daughter-in-law, um, got us this a couple of years ago. So we get to get and put our pictures on because people say, well, how do you hang pictures or what do you do? You know what, this is awesome because there's our pictures right there. We brought this from home. Um, this was Dad's and, and Janice's they had at their fireplace. And we thought, how cool would this be? We didn't know quite what to do with it. We didn't want to get rid of it. We've got a fireplace, so we put it next to the fireplace. Up here, we've got, um, again, in our family, as you can see, more camera equipment. So we have camera equipment both up here and on this side. Over here, we have some books up here also on that. Um, over here, we have more books and more things. We have some of the our manuals and stuff that for the um, truck and the RV up in there also. I have this Aaron made me a few years ago, and I kind of bring it as our little good luck thing, so it hangs right here. Over here, we have some of our games and stuff, and if we decide we want to play some games. We even have the Frisbees up here that the dogs... Uh, got when we went to Frankenmuth and they got their pasties. Over here I have a I do have a double sink which is really nice. Now they do say we can use these as cutting boards but I really don't use it as a cutting board. I tried that and it started to mar it up and I don't really want to do that. So, But it does give us extra space so I do have that. This is really cool. I can pull this down and it has, it has um, both the um, spray and the steady stream. Um, cabinets under here, under this one, which would actually wind up being a, a trash can cabinet. We have the dog food, which it fits perfect under here. So they have all their food under here and things for them. And uh, my little basket or tub for cleaning. And then under here I have some more of my cleaning supplies and trash cans and things like that. So, again, maybe another, we'll try and figure out some other way of, of sub doing that. But that's really cool. Uh, one more cabinet here. Now we're going to put more shelves in here because that's kind of a mess. <laughs> but I do have some more things in there. My cutting boards and um, some things there. And then of course our silverware and our drawers here for all of, all of that that we need for that. So let's move on on 
upstairs. One thing I wanted to show you too, before we left, our son Aaron made an incredible piece for us and we have that hanging right above our door. So it's back, a little home, big backyard. And it's kind of a copy of our fifth wheel and our truck. So one thing that I wanted to show you here, whoops, my picture's going crooked. Beautiful picture. Okay, so this is everything here um, that kind of works the inside of the of the RV. We have here is our heat and air conditioning, and it's all touch. I'm not going to do it now because if I turn it on now, it's going to make a lot of noise and you won't hear me. But uh, everything is touch sensor. This right here is uh, a max air fan, and this is great because I tend to set off the. Um, fire alarm when cooking. So it's right up here and it's all automatic and it's a great fan. Um, once again, I won't turn it on right now, but it's automatic and it's really cool because the other day it started to, to rain and it automatically closed and Steve didn't know that. Over here <laughs> is what tells us everything. It gives us our battery light here, our fresh water, um, our black tank. Now it does have a second black tank, but um, it has the button for it, but we do not have that. We have our gray tank, which is um, the bathroom, shower, and sink, and then our galley tank, which is the, the kitchen. So here's all the lights that we were talking about. It's our ceiling lights, and um, so we have the regular ceiling lights, would take, which would light the whole RV, as you can see there. And then we have the um, pendant, pendant lights, which is like right above the sink. So we have floodlights for outside, which are really, really cool, and a step light. These are all our slides. So like, <laughs> you see I kind of messed up here, but our bedroom slide when we go in and out, the living room slide, the kitchen slide, and Steve just had to use this one, which is our awning slide, because the winds came up and we wanted to make sure that that wasn't caught, so we just brought the awning in. So that's how we operate everything here. Now this is really, really cool. Little device. If I don't want to stand here and do all of this and the slides and everything here, I have a little remote control that does that for me. Now have I used it yet? No, not really, but <laughs> I, I need to do that. I, I think Steve, you used it once, right I used Steve? it once. Yeah. So it's just as easy, and now I can't get it back in, there we go. It's just as easy to kind of stand here and and do it that way. Okay, so so in here is our bathroom. It's small, yes it is, but this is our bathroom area. We do have a medicine cabinet, which actually does have quite a bit of room in it. Okay, and then this is really cool. Well, this takes forever for me to do because it's really hard. But anyway, this is a cabinet here where I have towels and extra things here and down below. And it's really cool because this thing goes way back. There's a lot of room in this cabinet, as you can see. So that, that was really nice. That was definitely a selling point for me. So you put these little things up here so we could hang our towels and stuff. And then our shower. And it's, it's a nice little shower. It's not, it's not bad, you know. Um, plenty of room, really. So, with a skylight. I definitely prefer that than the yes. campground showers. Yeah, all of the campground showers here aren't bad. We also have a little a little area underneath the sink. It's it's not doesn't have a lot, so we have some you know our chemicals and and a couple things down in there. And porcelain. Yes, this porcelain. is a porcelain porcelain privy here. So that that works out really well. Of a awesome. king size bed here, which is great. The bed itself is not the best, um, as you can see. Um, we are going to be getting a new mattress for this because, as you can see, there's kind of like a lump area here. We have little cubby holes on the side. Do they do much? No, not really. So Steve's going to build me something over here, probably on a hinge, because this is one of our slides come in. So it's really nice. We have lights above the bed, which are really nice if we want to do some reading. They're really super, super bright, though. So very, very bright on that. Um, here's the, oh, and Sierra has made herself comfortable. This is the TV that we could take outside if we want, um, and play that, but we haven't done that yet. 
We have uh, a little dresser here, and it's got four drawers in it. So Steve's actually the one using this one right now. So over here is our closet space, and this is great because it is almost a full-size closet. This is my side here. This is all my clothes right here. This is mine right here. This is all I have. And it works out really well um, for me. I have shoes and a few shoes and things up here and a couple of bags up here and stuff. And then Steve has this side of the closet, which is actually kind of cool. Um, he does have this little nook here, but I don't think it's really, doesn't do a whole lot. So no. he keeps a lot of his... Um, the motorcycle motor. helmet's in it. Yeah. That's all that fits. Oh, here's a motorcycle helmet. Okay, I guess that's all that fits in there. So you're asking, you know, probably wondering Hold what on. did I do about the rest of my clothes. Well, this is really kind of neat. Um, this is actually room for a washer and dryer. And so what I did, all the hookups are in here and they do have the electrical back here for that. But what I did is I got these totes and in each tote I have something different of my clothing. And it works like a drawer for me. It's actually quite it works out quite well. And then this is my little tchotchke area. I have my sewing and my makeup and some other some other things up in here and little tchotchke things that we might need. So basically I think that's about it on the tour of our RV. Um, if you have any questions or any comments, <laughs> you know, let us know what you think. Or anything we might have left out that you would like to know more about. Exactly. Uh, now, if you want to know more of the specs, uh, you go back quite a few episodes to when we did our original walkthrough. Mm -hmm. And ANSRV, uh, I have a lot of the walkthrough information on that one. On that one, yeah. yes. So that basically is it for this episode. So yeah. uh, if you like this episode, remember, always hit the um, subscribe button. Yes. And? And if you really want to know when we post again, hit that little bell. And it will let you know when we post, which is usually Tuesday or Sundays, Sundays at, at two o'clock. Yes. Yeah, two p.m. So that's about it. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed one it. One other thing. And, yes. I know one question is going to come up. What's that? We have one air conditioner, and that's ah. in the living room. But we are going to be putting another one eventually in our bedroom. Hopefully, by yeah. the time we get to Arizona. Yes. <laughs> so that was that. Yes, it is wired for that, but it is yes. it is piped in. Yeah. But in Arizona is. heat, it might not it might yeah. not be enough. So. It'll be nice to have a second one. Yes. So that's it. I uh, hope to see you on the road, and um, keep watching. Slancha and safe travels.